welcome back to Hello Nigeria. We have a very second guest in the studio with us. Now, this is a woman who is a function of beauty and brains, a queen in all, in the real sense of the word, queen. She's carried the crown of the Miss Nigeria pageant for one year, and in a few days, she'll be handing over that crown. We get to find out what exactly it feels like for Mildred Ihigwese to actually have carried this crown and what she'll feel like handing it over. Do you feel nostalgic? <laughs> I kind of, I kind of do. And I am actually excited to see who the next queen is going to be. And then I also feel bad because I enjoyed working as Miss Nigeria. I loved the fact that I could lend um, a voice to women. I started a foundation for children living with mental illnesses and um, women who have been sexually molested. And so uh, when this Ochenya case came up, it was it really got to me and I really wanted to work on it but then my time was very short on it so I didn't get to do a lot why did you decide to choose that particular area there there are so many things I'm curious I just want to know how your mind works oh. so why did you decide to focus on children dealing with mental, mental illnesses, illnesses and women as well I studied psychology in Redeemers University and I served in UCH so when I was doing my clinicals I did it in Aru Abiyokuta I discovered that a lot of children were abandoned because they had a mental illness which was probably hereditary or was developed due to um, things they had gone through. And they were being abandoned because their parents didn't know much about it. Their parents thought that the children were probably demon possessed or they didn't just want the children to be affiliated to the family. So they got abandoned in the hospitals. And the fact that they got abandoned got to me because these children, by the time they get the amount of care they're supposed to and the kind of treatment, they could actually be very functional individuals in the society. So I decided to raise um, awareness for that. And then when I saw that I could do that with the Miss Nigeria Crown, I went for the pageant and I did. Oh, and I'm, I'm actually feeling so happy that you were right now. Seriously. <laughs> very Thank you very much. So, so basically, since you started the foundation, how has the journey been? Oh, it's been beautiful. I love the experience because I get to meet beautiful people. I get to help people. And then I've worked with uh, various organizations. I've worked on about seven to eight projects. And it's been awesome, really. Of course, there are challenges. And sometimes it's not just about the beauty. You have to actually work. And the kind of work were things I really wanted to do. And the fact that I wanted to do it, it came easy to me. I enjoyed doing it. So it wasn't hard for me at all. Let's rewind to that moment in 2017 on yes. that stage when you heard the announcement that the winner oh of Miss God. Nigeria 2017 <laughs> is Miss Adamawa. What oh. went through your mind at that very moment? I was like, okay, let me go back a little to when they were announcing the top 10. So while they were announcing the top 10, they got to six. I'm like, God, please, even if I'm not going to win, let me just get it to the top 10. Oh, Lord. And then... I was just like, okay, Lord, please, Lord, please. And then I was the second to the last person they called. I'm like, oh, my God, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and so when, um, when I finally got to top 10 and they began to make the final selection, quite frankly, I don't even think my faith was strong enough to hold for, the, <laughs> for being the winner. And so when they had uh, mentioned the first runner up and the second, I'm like, okay, well, let me just go and pack my things and be going home. And so when they said Miss Adomawa, I, was, I, I had a rush. So my knees started shaking. That's when I discovered, oh, my heels were actually shaky. Like everything just came in at once. And in my head, I'm like, you're not going to cry. You will smile, you will wave and do everything. But my body was so shaky, I began to cry. So all my crowning pictures had me with a cry, sad <laughs> face and tears in my eyes. So it was a beautiful, I don't think I would ever forget that experience. It was a beautiful experience. And I'm really excited that there are many more girls who are going, or one more girl is going to eventually get to experience this as oh, well. Yes. Every girl deserves to feel special and feel like a queen. Yes, honestly. And, and feel, you know, really pampered like you've been in the past one year. Let's yes. also look at how your life has changed. Mm -hmm. Life before Miss Nigeria, life after Miss Nigeria. Oh, how has wow. it been? Wow. Life before Miss Nigeria. Okay, so I, I don't even think I changed much because I've always been a very playful and goofy girl. So, uh, before Miss Nigeria, I was just like that. So when I went for my cast, I wore a normal jean and t-shirt. And when I got there, everybody was in like pretty dresses, heels. And I'm like, I want jeans and sneakers. Why, why did I do this to myself? So I was just like that. And then when I won, yeah, well, we had to change into wearing more heels often. I wasn't wearing sneakers as much as I wanted to anymore. Try going back to sneakers now that you're done. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> It really so, sounded like you've missed wearing sneakers, actually. Oh, I have. I have, honestly. But then I got to wear it a little. 
And so after I won Miss Nigeria, the changes, I think basically the changes just make you better. It's not that they change who you are. They make you um, know more things. They make you get better in life. They improve the kind of woman you are. Not, the, not that you change your personality completely. Okay. So is there anything you would want to change as per, you know, ev everything about your reign in the last one year? In the last one year? Is there anything you think you want to do better? Any regrets? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think I have any regrets. So um, I'm a kind of person who, try not to, who tries not to have regrets because I feel like everything that happens, you learn from it, right? And also, if you think you should have done it, then you should have gone for it, except if you're conscious or you know, you're not comfortable with it. But if you're comfortable with it, I think you should go for it. And so because I think that, it, because I live by that principle, I tend not to have a lot of regrets, except for the fact that I learned from my mistakes. Now you're a queen and you've become a role model, a very intelligent queen, I must add. Thank and you've you. become a, a role model to lots of younger girls. Now, one of the things that a lot of young girls have to deal with or have dealt with at some point in their lives would be insecurities. Oh, so yeah. as a queen yourself, have you ever dealt with insecurities? What have been some of your greatest insecurities and have you been able to conquer them? Oh, I have, I have. And okay, so in the, I'm going to talk about my insecurities within the last one year, right? When I first won Miss Nigeria, my dad was like, don't go on social media. I'm like, why? I want to see what people are saying, right? And so I went on some social media platforms and I saw some really horrible things people had said. And it got to me for like the first three months, I was legit crying every night and the thing was really weighing me down. And okay, uh, one of the very basic things that actually got to me was my dentition. They're like, her dentition is so ugly. How did she win Miss Nigeria? I'm like, wow, I didn't know my dentition was that bad. And then I got to, uh, re I, got to I had to start telling myself the truth that there, there was nothing wrong with me. The fact that they thought that didn't define who I was. So I began to give myself those little pep talks, right? And then it began to affect my mood. I began to feel better about myself. A lot of things. I think every woman has to, um, gets to face that once in a while. People, you can't be enough for anybody except yourself. So you get to feel that once in a while. So if you don't encourage yourself, who will? You have to do it for yourself. So what's your what's your plan? What's your plan actually for, like when you, you know, hand, hand over the crown? What's your plan? Okay. What do you plan to do after that time? Oh, okay. So uh, what I plan to do by the grace of God is, uh, I plan to continue running my foundation. And also, I would get a second degree. Really? Yes. In what, if I may ask? Mm. <coughs> okay, I was thinking web design or go for a master's in clinical psychology. So I'm still tilting between. between both of them. Yeah. A queen that is both a merger of beauty and brains. <laughs> in a few you. days, on Sunday to be precise, yes. you're going to be handing over this crown oh. on your head and putting it on some other beautiful woman's head. Yes. What would be the words of advice that you would give to the incoming queen? Oh, my words of advice. To her first. So I'd ask you two questions. Okay. What would be the words of advice you'd give to the incoming queen mm -hmm. and to the young girl out there watching who nurses a dream of being a beauty queen someday? Mm, yes. Okay, uh, to the beauty queen who is coming in, um, yeah, my words of advice to you is put God first. Once you put God first, everything is going to be easy. And now also, you have to understand that you're coming to work. And when you know you're coming to work, nothing is going to be hard for you, especially when you put God first. And also, whatever people think about you is not what defines you, it's who you are, your work, and what you decide to do with your crown. You are <coughs> the owner of this crown. There cannot be a second 42nd Miss Nigeria. So it is yours. You have to own it. You have to love it. And then you have to use it. That's what I would tell the next And for the young girl who nurses the dreams. Oh, yeah, for the young girl who nurses the dreams, go for your dreams, especially if you know that's the will of God for your life, because... There is nothing like going for your dreams. That's the only thing that is going to give you the kind of satisfaction you need or you want to achieve in life. Also, when you get there, you need to know that there are stereotypes that come <coughs> with being a beauty queen. You should be able to know the kind of things you can handle. Can you handle being a beauty queen? Do you think you want to go through with that life? Once you know that those are the things you want to do, then you should go for it.
You are absolutely a queen. Thank One you. that I am honored to say that I was there at your crowning moment. <laughs> and I am much. so, so pl proud. I'm so glad. And I think that they couldn't have made a better choice. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you and keep much. shining, keep blazing the trail in oh, your industry as well. You. We've thank been speaking much. with the 41st, the only 41st ever Miss Nigeria. Because one thing people don't realize is you're the 41st. There will never, never be another be. 41st yes. Miss Nigeria. <laughs> so we've had a conversation with the 41st Miss Nigeria Mildred. And she's shared with us so many wisdom nuggets. In case you missed it and you're just tuning in, we promise you this will definitely be on YouTube. So you get to learn and get to watch and get to the other young girls as well to watch this. Thank you so much for joining us, Mildred. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for me. coming. To enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.